It's yeah. actually time to play one of your favorite games. You can play along. Uh, Bat Movie Lines. Now, what movie are we doing today there, Audio Wave? Uh, it is a Steven Seagal and Ja Rule classic. classic. Uh, I believe it came out in the year 2003. It's half Past Dead. Yeah. I think Half Past Dead. Yeah, so he asked me because he said he had a sci-fi yeah. film. Yeah. Right. He said, or a Steven Seagal film, mm. which I was like, Half Past Dead or Exit Wounds? Exit Wounds was DMX. Now, I have watched none of them sure. because I refuse to support Steven Seagal. The You're only missing two stuff, man. Well, yeah, the only two on. people I refuse yeah. to support are Plus. Michael Moore for obvious reasons and Steven Seagal for equally obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> is it a size thing? Is that the parallel no. between the two? No. no, it's just it's the fraud thing. It's uh, the running. Well, they know the same about martial arts. Those right? Two yeah, guys. they know about the exact same in martial arts. I had, I had someone shot. who I had to stop being friends with because yeah. they actually believed in the myth of Steven Seagal. Oh no! Oh really? really? Yeah, they were like, Ow. "Oh, Steven Seagal." I said, "Like, I could kick Steven Seagal's ass." Like, "Oh, you'd be in for a rude awakening." I'm like, no, what? he'd be in for a rude awakening. <laughs> Steven Seagal's pretty big. I'm like, he's fat. Okay, yeah. he's, you might get yeah, absorbed. Entirely really yeah. move. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm small, like two thirty six two. Right, yeah. Like, like, and he's just, and he's a fraud. He could eat you. Yes. <laughs> well, I just loved his cop show. Oh yeah, the oh, lawman. Yeah, where oh, he just couldn't actually do, do anything to anybody. <laughs> can we stop and get chocolate? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he literally did that. Yeah. Can we stop? I like the uh, Lindor. Like, we're not gonna get Lindor to Seven Eleven. They wrote in the this? middle of New Orleans. <laughs> We're on duty right now. He's like, Jeez. I've got an idea. I'm going to do a scene about chocolate. He yes. got sued. When does the donut part you, come in? Did you know why he got sued? He did Lawman, and he was out. You'd always like show up late. Like they'd show up, they do all the work, and he'd be like, "All oh, right." They'd have him down, right? Penny, like, yeah. you have the yeah. right to remain silent. And he didn't really know it. And they're like, "Oh, yeah. okay, all right." Steven Seagal showing up now. Yeah. But he got a rat. He got uh, sued, and I'm pretty sure he lost because what happened was there was a call. Of a cockfighting ring, yeah. and so they were supposed to go in there and stop yeah. the, you know, animal cruelty. Is it is yeah. it terrible? I mean, it's not like dog fighting. Like chickens are assholes. If you actually feel bad about <laughs> yeah. if you feel bad about eating you know, chickens, Seagal was like, fight. oh man, it's chickens. <laughs> <laughs> you know, from my days in Buddhism. I've learned to respect all of God's creatures. So you're a vegan? You don't get like this eating vegetables. <laughs> one, yeah, one of my favorite Steven Seagal things, he did a movie with Keenan Ivory Wayans. And, uh, Glimmer Man. Glimmer Man. Yeah. And uh, on, while filming one day, he showed up super late, like hours and well, hours. Well, which one? Crew was waiting. Well, he's stylish. Really. What, in Glimmer Man? Which like, one? Steven Seagal or Keenan oh, Ivory Ste Wayans? Sorry, Steven Seagal showed up super late. Well, because it could then, go either way. It, yeah. And he was Keenan's a professional. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He would never. He's, <laughs> He said, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm late, guys. And he's, I was reading the best script I've ever read. And Keenan Ivory Williams was like, who wrote it? Me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> Steven, Steven Seagal, he, he says he's the it first. Was me. He says he's the first, bla uh, first black belt, you know, uh, yeah. white black belt in Japan in Aikido. The fact is, he married a woman whose father was retiring, owned an Aikido gym, took it over, and then married Kelly LeBrock while he was still married to this Japanese woman. Oh, whoops. Wow. Really? Yes, he's an absolute pile of shit. Wow. And then he got. I knew that. He got sued <laughs> from lawman to the cockfighting thing, the cockfighting ring. What happened was. Like, oh, it's a cockfighting. We're going to go in and maybe break it up. Steven Seagal <laughs> rammed through the entire north wall with a tank. <laughs> what? <Why? laughs> rammed through with a truck, broke the house, and it turned out they just had chickens. Oh. Yeah. Oh. They were cockfighting. They, like, they lived in a semi residential area yeah, yeah. and they had chickens because they, they were like yeah. urban farmers. Like yeah. Steven yeah. Seagal rammed say. through their wall. Yeah. Like the one time, he's like, come on, I told you I can drive stick. Yeah, like, Let me in. I'm like, all right, finally once and incoming. No! <laughs> 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 Just, I have won't an idea. That. Have any of you seen Naked Gun Two and a Half? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. That's how we're gonna handle this. I like it. I li and I'm then I, I have a great idea for a script where I parody Naked Gun. Yes, hold my bagels. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, and I'm sure at some point we can find you can fact check me and find that he got a re something with cockfighting oh, yeah. and he ran through the wall Soon. of the house. Wow. But so this is half past dead half past with Ja Rule, ja Rule yeah. before the Absolutely. fire festival. And explain the rules for people who are watching who haven't. Yeah. Died. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna play a clip <laughs> from Half Past Dead, mm. and then up to a point we're gonna, we're gonna pause the movie and then we'll get to ask uh, we'll get to ask the room. What happens next, or what the next line is? Okay. So okay. there are a couple of uh, we've got three questions, uh, and then they're all multiple choice questions. All right. So let's we'll start go. off with question number one. You know me, and you know me. Now, welcome to ninety-six hundred. I'm gonna take this big goddamn hammer. Hey, come on, Sash. Come on. Have me some fun. Hey, Sash, Sash. 
You know you're crazy, right? All right, what does Seagal, Seagal say to that? You know what's funny? This is the phase yeah. where he was trying to act black. Because there was yeah. a period of yeah, his yeah, life yeah. where he was trying to act Italian. He also claimed he, he claimed that he uh, was raised in like Brooklyn, spent time in Brooklyn, yeah. spent time with all the Italians. He would do those yeah. like mob movies where right. he'd talk yeah. like this, Steven Seagal. And then he claimed that he uh, was from, he spent time playing blues on the porch in Detroit with yeah. black people. Hmm. And then he, now he claims he's Native American and he yeah. drinks Windex well, or something. Yeah, yeah. He, he made that, uh, what was it? It was with Michael Caine where he's Native American <laughs> and uh, he tries to protect. I think he's just trying to protect Earth out in Alaska. There's, Earth? there's fire down Earth. below. Earth. There's Earth. fire down, down below. below. Yeah. This is where he has a crazy jacket. Like yeah, fire American down below is where he has a crazy jacket. He's like an undercover Earth. agent. Yeah. yeah. And he's wearing an argyle leather he's jacket like, yeah. Yeah. everywhere he goes. Well, well, the, the race thing may actually factor into your answer. So we, uh, okay, yeah, let's yeah. see. Okay. So what, what does Seagal say? He says, uh, Does he say so, A? So does he say A, crazy like a damn fox, my brother? Or B, uh, if loving money is crazy, call me John Wayne Gacy. Or is it C, cuckoo crazy? Oh, this is tough. Because oh. obviously him pandering to the people of color community would suggest yeah. A. Yeah. But the laziest writing would be cuckoo crazy. Yes, right. it would be the laziest. So oh. I don't know. That's an interesting I'm right heuristic. with you where it's got, I thought the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, pandering yeah. or lazy? Yeah. Mm. Sort of like the Biden campaign. Yeah. Pander? Lazy, and it's still my brother because he's like, I still want to put down black people a little, a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised. If he, I wouldn't be surprised if the cuckoo, cra- like cuckoo crazy, because I'm cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Oh, sponsor! <laughs> you get it, because <laughs> you're a cocoa puff, Raoul. <laughs> my little cocoa. I used puffs. to be a member of the Count Blackulus back in my days <laughs> in Flint. <laughs> Uh, you say yeah. C because it's lazy, cuckoo I'm, crazy? I, I'm going to go A. I think so I'm going to go A. Okay. So, well, hold on a second. That's not, okay. But no, you go C and I go, because I was the one who brought up the black thing. True. Oh, no. so that's fair. True. I feel like I've earned it. That's okay. fair. And I think if we it. split it, maybe we can split a point. You and I agree. I'm going B. I, I'm, yeah, I'm okay. going to go. Split a I'll point. I'll go C. Yeah, we'll split a point. B. I'm going to go A, but I have a feeling that Dave's going to win this because it, it comes down to lazy. Did said, you what? say what I'm going B. So B. A is crazy like a fox, my brother. Yeah. Uh, C is cuckoo, cuckoo crazy. Yeah. B is if love and money is crazy, call me John Wayne And I do it because he wants to say more words. He wants more airtime. Okay, that's all. Also, yeah. sound logic. He's, it's, it's wrong. Yeah, he's going for clever. All right, what's the answer? All right, here we go. Cuckoo crazy. Nah. Oh, <laughs> split it. It's you know still what I a bet? split. I bet there were three versions of the strip yeah. where he said the other one. And he was like, uh, they were like, all right, say the lines like, uh, crazy like a big box, brother. No, no, no. Say it's crazy like a fox, brother. Brother, I have a bobcat. Cut. Uh, okay, all right, secret. next one. Question two. You want to negotiate? I'll cut you a sweet deal. Witness protection, no time served. Egg fool's not for sale. You ever done hard time, Nick? You ever been somebody's bitch? All right, how does Ja (laughs) Rule answer? All (laughs) right, is it, yeah, I done time, but I ain't nobody's bitch, bitch. Or is it B, uh, you got big balls for a woman, you know that? Or C, he laughs, shoots her in the forehead, and whispers, yes. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> I feel like all wow. everything is pointing me in the direction of B because yeah. it's like the most reasonable answer, but it's, there's got to be a trick. I'm mm. feeling and I wouldn't put it past Ja Rule to ad lib something as stupid as, yeah, I done time, but I ain't nobody's bitch, bitch. It's yeah. true. I'm feeling yeah. that A. It's yeah. almost on par with Gerald's defense of no. <laughs> <laughs> but not quite. Uh, I'm going A. A is all right. Well. Oh, okay. Okay. I go Jesus. B. Okay. And uh, oh man, we're gonna we're all gonna have some egg on our face if it's C and he shoots you in the forehead. Yeah. Yeah. That would you're, be you're good. Keep, yeah, you're keeping score for yourself because yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think anybody else is. Right? Yeah, <laughs> right. we we have half a point. One, you have zero. Gerald has yeah. none. No, no, no we have half a point. We have point five. Did you split no. it? Oh, you split, we split, we split it. We split it. Split point. Okay. Okay. That's the rules here. That's, that's really weird. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we you go. can't do that. <laughs> all right. Here we go. You got big balls. Oh. <laughs> oh. You know that? <laughs> Wait, you know what's so ah. funny? Is we didn't see Steven Seagal for that entire interaction. And, and then he's just buying to her. They're just like, in, like you, you know can what? see that storyboard, Steven Seagal reaction. He's just like, mm. <laughs> I like, can, he just he's saw, like he just him. saw Fig Newton. Yeah. Mm. I can honestly <laughs> say if I knew Steve Se- Steven Seagal was there, I would have guessed B. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It would have changed. Just those two. 
Because if it was him and a woman, he'd call her a bitch. But in front of Steven, he'd oh, call yeah, her yeah. a bitch. You know what's funny is this an exit wounds with DMX is the most expensive I have a black friend excuse ever. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's yeah. All I, it was. I made a mo movie with Ja Rule. Yeah. That's, yeah. I have a black friend. Have you uh, seen 48 Hours? Yeah. All right. Now imagine it's the shittiest thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know how Take funny that, Eddie what, what are you saying, is? Steven? I'm saying when I show up on set, uh, bad things happen. <laughs> you were saying he's always, she tries yeah, to act yeah, like yeah. a cloaked in a veil yeah. of secrecy. Like he was talking to St uh, Pierce Morgan, and Pierce Morgan's such an idiot. He's like, now, does anyone ever still try and test you at a bar? Uh, <laughs> that's a goes, yes or no goes, question. Yeah, yeah, so that's a yes, yeah. No. He goes, and what, what, what happens if that someone even now today tries to step up to you? What, what happens? Well. <laughs> Bad things. That's his answer. Yeah. And going well in like a diagonal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> saying yes and no with yeah. your face. Yeah. Bad things to me. With that yeah. era where he wore those crappy yellow, like he thought they were Bono glasses, but oh, they were just God. woodworking glasses. Yeah. Yeah. And he claimed to train UFC fighters, and they thought oh. it was hilarious. These Brazilians who didn't really speak English are like, they asked him, like, where'd you learn that front kick that you learned in the first class of karate? And Anderson Silva was like, I learned from Steven Seagal. <laughs> And Steven Seagal was like, yes. I thought. And his name was Anderson. And yeah. he started nicknaming him Anderson Kuhn. My Anderson oh, Kuhn. Like, which oh, I guess no. is like a pet it's, name in like, Japanese. Oh, he's like ISIS taking credit ah, for these things. Do that. And then he shows up yeah. to the next UFC trying to claim credit for John Jones. With this one, it's like on the long. And so yeah, he shows yeah. up and he's, he gave an interview with Ariel Hawani before about Joe yeah. Rogan where he called out Joe Rogan. Nothing ever materialized. Oh, <laughs> but he knew? goes, uh, well, I'm here at... Uh, you know, Anderson Kuhn uh, fought last week, and it's hard for me to watch my children fight, but I also know that I've trained them properly. They'll come out victorious, so I'm here now uh, lending a hand to uh, John Jones uh, at his request. And then later in the post-fight press conference, he's like, yeah, hey, by the way, anyone know why the hell Steven Seagal was trying to get into my dressing room? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, your true story. Oh, my gosh. We got to pull it up. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we got to find this guy's the worst. Yeah. All right, so let's go to the next one. That's one and a half points for you. So after, yeah, after this interaction, uh, Ja Rule and Steven Seagal are taken to prison oh, good. At, at New Alcatraz. Oh, ah. And Alcatraz. then at the at the end of this movie, the, the big reveal is that Steven Seagal. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, go ahead, go ahead, please. Wait, what's New Alcatraz? New Alcatraz <laughs> is Alcatraz. No, no, New Alcatraz. Where, but they basically taped a bunch of like technology looking stuff okay. outside of the cells. So it's they the put the rock. Yeah. They basically, they right. basically the ripped off. off. Yeah, the so, rock. Yeah, do like retinal scans. It's the rock with no budget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No acting abilities. I can only, like, that was probably just like, uh, they probably had some problem in the script. We're like, ah, oh, we can't actually shoot at the Penn, Penn, Penn State Penitentiary. He's like, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> why don't we, this is why don't we create? Yeah. <laughs> A new Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> Can we take the realism out of a Michael Bay movie? <laughs> <laughs> new Alcatraz. New Alcatraz. Wow. And, and that's what they call dialogue. it. Like, you must be crazy, John. <laughs> There's no way we can escape from New Alcatraz. <laughs> it's never been done. Then again. Think of who you're talking to. <laughs> Every, he yeah. never allows himself to appear weak. Do you guys have Steven Seagal? Right. Like, it's never like there's a comeback. Mm, like, no. even Chuck Norris or Bruce Lee, you'd be like, oh, he bled. Like, Steven Seagal, it was a rule. He had to be kicking ass from beginning to end <laughs> with no times. twists, no double crosses. Yeah. Like, no one, like, hey, this guy's going to punch you in the face. No one would buy it. <laughs> <laughs> and this, the, yeah, this, this next clip, so actually, it goes along with that. And the big reveal <laughs> at the end of this movie is that Steven Seagal was an F. FBI agent the whole time. Oh, <laughs> so, right. so Whoa. Yeah. And the whole time. The whole time. This I sounds like a Steven Seagal script. <laughs> yeah. I thought I thought he was from the two clips I watched. <laughs> Wait, there was a question. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. So he got arrested. It was all, it was all a ruse. What a twist! Yeah. Oh. So he was an FBI agent the whole time, Ugh. and he was arrested, taken to New Alcatraz, and then he reveals this to Ja Rule, and uh, ja, ja Rule, Ja Rule, of course, feels betrayed. He reveals this is I just this is the third act. Steven Seagal <laughs> reveals to Ja Rule at, in New Alcatraz yeah, yeah, yeah. that he was a secret agent this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you, you think you could like get us out of here or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this got me. 
Wayne, and I am not leaving theaters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ja Rule obviously feels betrayed because he obviously. really, he really oh. trusted Steven Seagal and, and their and their criminal activity. That's what he gets yeah. for fire. Festival. I thought we were friends. True. Hey, yeah. Ja. Some things were real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Steven Seagal earned his trust. Ja, his you trust. rule. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. the last line of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is this the last line or we have two more? No, no, no. So we, this is the last, yeah, this okay. last question. Uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Let's play the clip. Well, the Bureau thought if we did time together, you'd trust me with more sensitive information when we got out on the street, you know? <laughs> she. I want Sonny that bad, huh? My wife's dead because of him. She died after one of his men jacked by a car and put four bullets in her chest. Dubbed. Yeah. You bet your life I want him that bad. Mm. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know. I don't know. All right. Well, like, now he's concerned about privacy because oh, he was talking yeah. into the mic the yeah. entire time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, what is what is Steven Seagal's <laughs> also, the entire time? The microphone is yeah. not a one way radio. Yeah. Also, the whole idea of him being undercover is to get to this moment, and he tells him he's yeah, undercover. Like, yeah. 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 I was <laughs> hoping I you'd reveal your, your trust. <laughs> Wait, your don't most, tell me anything yet. Your most indicting secrets. Yeah. Yes. He murdered my wife. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is... So, Steven Seagal obviously looks uh, dejected in this clip. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what's his reflection? Does he say, she was the best part of me? Does, she, does he say, she was so hot? <laughs> does she say, see, I love that bitch so much, and then sob? Oh, 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 none of these uh, are good. No, and th I want it to be C. I do, too. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I really do. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Which I wouldn't be surprised because he probably thinks that that like listen, I really wanna on this final moment tug on the heartstrings of the blacks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love that bitch. That's what they yeah. say, right? All right? I don't know. Uh, I just you know what I wanted guesses. to be that uh, that bitch was so hot and him uh, yeah. yeah, Okay, no, it's actually three different. It so B was she was so hot. A was she's she was the best part of me. C was I love that bitch so much, and then he saw. It can't be A because that's somewhat reasonable. Okay, I gotta say B because it's a good mix of him pandering. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, yeah. Uh, I think you're right. Without calling her a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I think too. He's like, yeah. she was so hot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Tane and yeah, Jarrell's like, yeah, yeah. man, you talking my language? And then they get the. <laughs> Then they do the fake like G.I. Joe laugh and it freezes and rolls uh, credits. Roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think, yeah, uh, she was so hot was so is hot. B. Okay. It's probably most, but I'm going to say I love that bitch so much right. just okay. because it would be funny, but I don't believe it because C. I don't believe Steven Seagal would ever sob in a film. Okay, so we have two C. answers for C, one for B. I All think, right. But I think Dave's going to get it. Okay. C. I don't know. She was the best part of me. Oh! oh. oh. Tasteful. Oh, yeah. It was the logical one. Yeah, yeah. but there's no tears, yeah. and the rain's outside to make him seem sad. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really wanted the next line to be, I love that bitch so much. Yeah. <laughs> she was so hot. <laughs> All three lines. It was so the oh, man. That would have been great. Shittiest line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Hallmark card we garbage. We should have known. Oh my yeah. god. Should have known. Yeah, no. we should have. I guess I why would we over like yeah. we underestimated how terrible we gave he him was. too much credit. <laughs> yeah. We're like, oh, oh there's you no know, way he'd be complete garbage. When she died, I feel like a little part of me died with her. Okay, fire no, hose the it. cockpit. Yeah. <laughs> For rain. Pretty sad. Uh, why is there fake snow? <laughs> Cuz <'Cause God>. fuck. <laughs> All right. This has been bad movie yeah. lines. Uh, yeah. Love the bee helmet. What yeah. a piece of shit Steven Seagal is. <laughs> so All right, we have Chet. Did you find that the arrest record of him uh, or the, the, the yeah. lawsuit of Steven Seagal bold, oh. like going yeah. through someone's so, wall? For so it looks like he uh, it says, actor Steven Seagal sued for driving tank into Arizona home slash killing puppy. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> he killed a puppy? Like, what? How do I remember these things? <laughs> right, 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 That's way worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was in right. Maricopa County. It, <laughs> it messed with the election it as well. Killed the puppy. <laughs> killed the puppy to stop cockfighting. Horrible. Like, watch out for that puppy. There's no time. <laughs> Collateral 
damn it. After we'll thank him for his service. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a puppy mill. <laughs> and so I thought I would solve it by running over all of the puppies. His tank runs Wait, they're on dog puppies. fighting here too? <laughs> I remember they asked me to knock on the door. Instead, I drove a tank into a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> because when Overkill. you put Steven Seagal in the driver's seat in the tank, <laughs> bad things happen. <laughs> to puppies. Yes. Correct. Yes, yes, they do. Yeah. To killed a puppy. <laughs> to <laughs> puppies <laughs> and so chickens yeah. alike. Yeah. Well, well, and Steven Seagal, he, he, told, he told a local radio show that, uh, let's see, animal cruelty is actually one of his pet peeves. So he's, <laughs> oh, well. I also, I also let, it's like it. chewing with your mouth open is a pet peeve. <laughs> right. Animal yeah. cruelty is not a pet yeah. peeve. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. they should, there should be an yeah. addendum to that article. Yeah. Should, we followed up for comment. Yeah, it was. <laughs> also, sorry. Yeah, it was a pet. Yeah, yeah. The peeve wasn't involved yeah. whatsoever. Oh, and, but yeah. he, so he, he, did, he did dispute the, the puppy side, oh. uh, according to Forbes. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He said it didn't happen. So. Yeah, okay. Well, you, you can't know prove what? it. His word, his word is his bond. Yeah. Uh, let's let's yeah, go to be chat. Sure, be sure to check out his word as his bond. The new food. Yes. Oh, from, you know, no. from we so couldn't well. get the rights to James Bond, <laughs> so I'm Bond. Double, his word is his. <laughs> double bond. donut seven. <laughs> I can't keep my Walter in a shoulder holster because I lose it in. My rib fat. <laughs> <laughs> Where can you put it? Oh, right. We're still figuring it out. That's going through wardrobe at the moment. <laughs> I, uh, are those stretch marks? No, it's just a line where the gun keeps going off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this All is right. my final Steven Seagal story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's an interview. I don't know if we can find it. Where you know uh, uh, Jason Lee died in the set of The, cr yeah, the Crow. Yeah, yeah. 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 So Steven Seagal, he was interviewed about this. Have you ever seen this? Or Brandon Lee. Brandon oh, sorry, Lee. Brandon Lee. That's yeah. right. Who I, did I say? Jason, Jason Lee's the skateboarder. Yeah. Jason, Lee, uh, Jason yeah. Lee's a skateboarder. Jason Scott Lee was the one who was in uh, the Dragon, the uh, Bruce Lee biopic. Yeah, and, yes. the yeah, and he was also yeah. in uh, the, the Jungle Book movie. Yes. So yes, it was Jason was. Scott Lee, Jason Lee. Okay, so Brandon Lee. Jennifer he Jason was in The Crow. Lee. He died, yes. right? And so he goes... And they called me. By the way, no relationship with Bruce Lee ever, from what I understand, Steven Seagal, but for some reason, a relationship with Brandon. <laughs> yeah. There's an interview you can find this. He goes, they called Wait. me, and uh, the day that Brandon Lee died, and they said, you're never going to believe what happened. <laughs> we had a tragedy, and Brandon died. We were using blanks in the gun, and someone forgot to check it, and he's no longer with us. <laughs> and I said... You check that gun, and you will find a projectile in that gun. They said, Sensei, there's, <laughs> there's no way. We were using blanks. I said, check the gun. Believe me, you will find a projectile in it. They called me the next morning and said, Master Seagal, you're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> there was a projectile in that gun. I swear to God. Oh, my God. You're amazing. Yeah. So they oh. called me the next day. Yeah. How would you have guessed that when it ripped through his chest? <laughs> <laughs> we have that interview if you want to watch do we? it. Oh, please. Okay, please. Bring it up. Please. I, I, because I don't think, I'm not sure I'm doing it justice. Yeah, All right. Here's Steven Seagal. It's amazing. And, and, but the guy shot a blank gun at him. Uh, how could he be dead? He's dying. He, he's, you know, severely oh, he's hurt. Dying. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe dead. Because they call him before said, paramedics. You'll find a projectile <laughs> in him. You'll find a bullet in him. And they said, that can't be. He's got a little you're Donald crazy. Trump in there. And I said, you will find a bullet in him. And they called me in the morning. They said, you're amazing. And I said, no. Nah. There's a bullet in him. <laughs> and wow. um, hey, this guy I goes, go oh, through man. the whole story on what really happened, which most people don't know. But... Oh, oh, yeah, well, thank you. The long and the short is when Brandon passed like that. I, I, I didn't sleep for three or four days. Wow. That's uh, the it story? It reminded me too much of certain things. It and, was unrelated. I was uh, on a crack bench. <laughs> Insulin. He I said used too much of it. It reminded him of certain things. Yeah, yes. it reminded that's why he couldn't And there's a true story it. that nobody knows except for me. <laughs> like, all, as uh, is the case where I am also the only one who understands projectiles <laughs> and <laughs> <You're> chest <amazing>. <laughs> cavities. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, no, they I say, forgot. Yeah, they but, say he's dead, uh, dying. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Like, <laughs> like at, no, like but they called him before the ambulance. Right, yeah, yeah. 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 Like what Brandon should we do? Lee. Quick, Quick chest, him check on. him. There's an exit wound. Call Seagal. Uh, yeah. You've made the right choice. <laughs> You're amazing. He's bleeding. Well, I bet it wasn't a blank. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10.15 Eastern.